How about you turn the lights on in here? We must forgot to pay the electrical bill again. Maybe Tony, you know, power line up there. Yeah, so we were just moving equipment around and poof, the electricity goes out. So we're very fortunate that we didn't have the door open because can you imagine? That'd have gotten cold. Would have been really cold. How is the computer working? It's not working. Yeah, if you're an Agrilite person in two weeks when you watch this, get the electricity going again. That'd be great, thanks. Yeah, we were trying to get this tractor in here. That one. So hello everybody. Electricity is out at the farm. Oddly quiet around here. You know when the power goes out in your house or shop? How quiet and peaceful that is? Gosh, that's nice. Just hope my GoPro don't die. That'd be a horrific problem to have. So anyways, we were trying to get this here tractor and planter into the shop for another project to work on because I got some parts ordered for it. Gotta put the marker on it. But that's kind of on hold now since the uh, power is out. The tractor's stuck outside from both sheds. Luckily, I shut the shed door over there. But Agrilite's normally pretty good about it. They'll have it up and going as long as nothing bad happens. So since I have nothing really else to do besides clean floor in the shop, I'll tell you a little bit about this tractor. This is the 8430 T tractor. It has 16 inch belts on it for pulling our top air sprayer. One of the two top air sprayers we have. This thing is what we pull our 36 row 20 inch 2008 DB60 planter with. That makes sense? Gonna have to. So this planter is equipped with a liquid tank on it. That is for soy green. If you don't know what soy green is, look it up because it probably will help you if you have iron chlorosis. I think I said that right. Iron chlorosis? Iron that, that, yeah that. So we have this thing set up with that for certain fields that that is really bad in. That makes the yellow greens bean. But, Okay, yeah, you get the point. That's a product we use. So yeah, that's kind of what we got going on here. This one's coming in to get a new marker. All these arms are shot, so we're getting new arms for it through deer. I don't think there's too much to go. I think the openers are good. I think it's pretty good, except for one marker missing, which you've seen me putting that together. So Ooh, let's go find Duggo. So if you didn't know, dad's kind of what I would classify a service manager. It's like he's got his phone strapped I should duct tape it to his head. And if it ain't in his head, it's in his hand Snapchatting or Instagramming. He was just right there standing outside because our booster doesn't work when there's no power. So he's now doing his phone calls outside. We'll find him. Hey, the power's back. Woohoo! Now you can work more. You can't go I home now. I was just gonna go home. I started my car. Power's back on. Just zip my pants up and the power came back. <laughs> power's back on. Let's get this thing set up for work on it. It's unfolded. So do we have to get Air Force One out? Uh, we're not unfolding it. Yeah, you are a pest. I'm just right. Should we move? He's the guy that never has to work on anything and just walks around all day and cleans the floor. But wow. it is nice. Look Bring them nice out there. Stuff. Look at that. Yeah, this floor is perfect. They're all waist high. I think that'd be better to work on them. Maybe not adjust them. Put them on. Take them off. Well, that's not what I would do. So you can, you can do all the work and I will watch you. The mudsmith wheels for when 2020 yeah, they're goes over wrong. There. Come on, John. Come on. Come on. Here, I gotta get floor scrubber out here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. What? Hey! Quit walking away from me! I have no idea. Don't. <laughs> Maybe some of you can notice or can see we still have beans in there. Yes, they're in there for next season. We're just too lazy to clean it out. We normally leave some in there and it just is what it is. We do clean this out though. These are cleaned out. We leave the seed this in all winter. I know that's not the correct thing to do, but we do it and never had a problem with it. So they're gonna give you so much crap for leaving your seed discs in there. Never had an issue. What's the issue supposed to be? I don't know, I think they think they warp for some reason, but. Have you ever took them out and looked at them? Looked to see uh, if they're on? Well, when you turn them, they don't. No, they, <laughs> or is it? No, they've always looked good to me. Look at that hole, it's almost wore through where your marker, 
we're gonna have to do some fixing. For heaven's <laughs> sakes. Hope nothing else is bent here. The way that the marker looked, I'm be amazed if something else isn't wrecked to yeah. be so gappy there. I don't know, but oh, if somebody boy. wants to oh, invent... I think we bent this. Look at that don't. pin's supposed to be flush. Don't look. Somebody wants to invent a breakaway on a DB60. I would imagine any DB planter. There is no, literally no breakaway, no safety. You've got zero chance of mistake. Uh, my corn planter, the 1770 NT, they've got safeties there. They've got breakaways. Can't wreck that one. Look at them and not me. <laughs> I don't like looking at this thing. It makes me <laughs> nervous. But yeah, somebody invent a breakaway for the DB planter marker and you might just be a rich man. If I hold it in front of my face, will you look at the camera then? <laughs> we could have had this put on by now if you wouldn't be standing with that thing in your hand again. You gotta realize it's like eight inches away from his face. You're gonna have this in your face <laughs> camera back there that has got on there all winter. We never use that. Well, that's because you just don't care if somebody's behind you or not. No, I don't actually. But the T-Tractor rides so rough that your monitor always flew off of the dash and window and down on the floor and then you'd yell at me for it being on the floor and it's I just give up. what you call memories. It's not the best. But it's only for beans, so you're only an inch deep. I lay them on the top when it's going to rain. I suppose. <laughs> Maybe we can just go and throw them out there with a big spreader. I'm doing the floater next year. Floater, I'm just going to broadcast them out. I don't know, what do you think? You think the forklift should be lowered? <laughs> I think it should be lowered. Stand back. We don't know if we need it all, so I'm not going through all that work. Yeah. Stand back. You're, you're bulletproof. I seen that on my way in <laughs> and I stuttered because I was like, That's was, why you missed your view. Yeah, I'm like, What was that? Is something else laying in front of me? I was like, Oh, whatever. <laughs> we're just going to send it. Just camera. Yeah. Just run it over. So then I come in heavy, high gear, grinding, nothing worked. It sounded enough. nice at least. And like I said, she's being stripped down. Openers were new last year, so we don't need new openers. We do need to do a lot of work on these. The rubber are shot. I think we're gonna kind of pick and choose which ones need to be replaced. Should be pretty decent. I do have a surprise. We're gonna be uh, doing some pretty cool upgrades to our NT1770 24 row 30 inch corn planter is gonna be getting some pretty heavy upgrades that I'm sure you guys will get to see a video about as we install. I'm not gonna say yet. You'll just have to keep watching because it's going to be pretty cool. But these are the arms that are shot and what ends up happening is that this bushing here gets super loose. I don't know if you can see how loose that is in there. Plus, well this one isn't too bad. We've run out of threads. So you adjust this here piece. For those that don't know how these work, your gauge wheel there mounts onto right here. You adjust this nut, which is the bushing also, in and out to adjust your wheel clearance against this part to keep your mud off of the disc. They aren't nice and tight. Mud builds up, plugging the wheel, which you gotta take your wheels off, clean the mud out. It is a horrible experience. Also what we are gonna be doing, we're gonna be putting some of these wheels on. They're called mudsmith wheels or something, I don't know. Customer of Kibble had those on his planter. He hated them because he was in no-till conditions and supposedly they don't work in that or something. We bought these used for a really good price. So we will be putting these on. I've got enough to do seven rows, so I'm gonna do them on each side of where the track on the tractor, if you can see that, runs, which is right here. We're gonna put them on both sides of that because that is the most likely place for mud to get squished up if you go through a mud hole or a wet spot that we shouldn't be in, but we end up being. And then we're gonna put it on 
three rows of the right side of the planter because it seems like we're always along the edge of the fields with the right side. It's just kind of the natural way to turn for us. That's where we're going to be putting them. We're not going to be decking out the whole planter with them, just the three rows on the end and four rows that are right behind the tracks of the tractor. So that's going to be a sweet little upgrade. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be working on this a bit and we'll get her fixed up and ready for 2020. You again? Oh yeah, I gotta look in the camera. I can't ever look. <laughs> when you're in my space, you're in my space. I think I told you guys that I was gonna put mudsmith wheels on these outside three rows. <laughs> and I've put the normal wheels back on. So now I get to take them back off and put on the mudsmiths. There we go, mudsmith wheel installed. We do not have them adjusted nor tightened, so we're gonna have to go through the whole planter and do that all as one. I'm just getting them on for now. This is to help mud come out instead of plug up inside. Also, when you do plug these, it's a lot easier to clean them out. So we have got all the wheels put on now. They have been adjusted. Adjust them by this here nut or bushing, whatever you wanna call it, tighten, loosen, adjust the tire to the opener. I do that last, I hang them all because it's real nice and easy. Then we come back, two guys, one guy spins this, other guy adjusts this and tightens it. Goes really quick or, well it's not really quick, it's an hour and a half long deal, but it definitely is better with two guys. You can get them a lot tighter to the disc and precise. So me and Tony did that. So that part of this is done. I am now going to make up another parts list for the marker because some stuff didn't get ordered, some stuff's back ordered, and I'm confused, the parts man's confused, so I get to do it again. So here we go. Well, this just ain't right, Dad. This one has both markers on it. No comment. <laughs> so that's what it's supposed to look like. You should come over here and explain why this planter has two markers on it. Well, this one was designed properly from the manufacturer with a safety bolt, shear bolt up there on the marker. That way if something horrendous happens, which is always possible, there's protection. Instead of spending $9,500, you spend, well, I'm sure John Deere gets maybe $4 for that bolt. $4 is okay. $9,500, that's not acceptable. So once again, could somebody design a breakaway otherwise I'll have to do it and I'll be the one that retires with the million dollar idea sure you will that's a NT770 versus DB60 same footage planter just different bars right yeah right here we go is, it, is this, this weird what I live with does this feel weird to you it's very uncomfortable <laughs> how's it feel I don't know should I get nice and close yeah. dodge boy Duggo for you Better follow him on Instagram. Why I had to get on Snapchat is to give my side of the story because I was always getting run over by you. So now I had to retaliate. What's the word? Is that right? Retaliate? 
I don't think that's the that one. That ain't the right word. Defend? Defend. Defend yourself? I don't know. I'm no politician, but there's a word for it. Is that the right word? Politician? <laughs> I don't think I gotta so. go home. Now we got both planners to work on. What happened? I really don't understand it. Some nice little kid sent me this and said, I hope you like it. And then you clicked it, and then what? Security breach popped up. Well, not the first time. What was the first time? Hookers? It let, no, no, none of them this time. <laughs> but it did say, I made this just for you, click here. That's a scam. I thought the little kid made something for me, and it was a picture of uh, my, what's it called? My uh, face, my... Your face? My face, yeah. <laughs> it was a picture of the... Profile? Instagram. There you go. It was a picture <laughs> of the profile. My profile picture. There the word is. And then This what? took me about two hours to make. Yeah, they're they, scams. I get them all the time. They came out really nice. Just ignore them. Oh boy, they came out really nice. I hope you love them. Yeah, and then you clicked on it and you popped up security breach. Well, it did this time. The other time it didn't <coughs> pop up anything and except my face. And then in your face. new messages, a hooker popped up. Well, that's when that profile of her, which I'm not touching that <laughs> again. <laughs> did it ask if you were 18 this time? No, just said hi. <laughs> Idiot. God, what? Don't people have nothing better to do? This What's is a that? day in the life of Doug out here. How many hours do you spend on Instagram a day? I don't know. I suppose it's it's maybe an hour. It's and more than an hour. Every time I look over at you, you're either with it on your head, or you're talking to somebody, or you're Instagramming. I have nothing to say to that. I will not. Either confirm or deny that. That's right. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to come back to the next one. I appreciate every one of you watching it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and possibly subscribe. Thank you.